guys welcome back to our channel so this channel every data science is all about trying to learn different concepts in rural science by practicing a lot of questions in this video i'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding patient support analysis part 3 using postgresql and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems the difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in united health interviews okay let's jump right in the question reads united health group has a program called advocate for me which allows members to call and advocate and receive support for their healthcare needs whether that's behavioral clinical well-being healthcare financial benefits claims or pharmacy help we are asked to write a query to get the patients who made a call within seven days of their previous call if a patient called more than twice in the in a span of seven days count them as once so it does not matter like how many times the person is calling as long as the person is calling within the seven day period you just count them okay this is one patient that has called within seven days of the previous call right so basically we are given a table called callers with six different columns uh policy or holder id case id call category call received call duration seconds original order call received is a timestamp and here is an example of it so if you look at policy holder id so basically these three are for uh you know one one of the patients so if you see the first call was on uh, 9th of March 2022 and then the second call was on 12th of March. So obviously this is within the seven day period. Then uh, next call was on 13th of May. So obviously this is outside the seven day period range, right? So one of the uh, customers has called within the seven day period. Now for this customer, there is only one entry. So obviously this should be excluded for this one. Uh, we have one on 11th of March and one on 19th of March. So it is outside the seven day period because if you just add 7 to this it should be 18th of march 2022 at 338 right so there is only one patient which has called within the seven day period right so that is what we have so basically to do this what we can do is from this table called callers you know we have the call received for each of the policy holders so then for each of the call we can you know say that okay after this call when was the next call right we can make a column of that you know like next call and then try to calculate the difference between the next call and the call received in seconds and try to see whether you know that number is less than the number of seconds that are in seven days and you know keep only those rows and count the number of different policy holder id so what i'm saying is from this table called callers let's keep all the columns and make a new column which is basically the next uh, call time right so since we need to do this for each of the policy holder id and we need to get the next value right so we are going to use the lead window function so lead and then from the uh, column called call received right so call received Right. And since this is a window function, we need to use the over clause. And then for each policy holder ID, we need to get this right. So partition by then policy holder ID. And then you should also order by because we are going to get. OK, so this was the first call. So then what when was the next call? Then for the next call, when was the next call after that, etc. Right. So order by call received in ascending order. And let's alias this as next call right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so for this policy holder id right the first call was on 9th of march 2022 and the next call was on 12th of march so here in the next call it should be 12th of march right and then after this the next call was on 13th of may that is what you have right and after this there is nothing else so you have null similarly for different customers right so once we have this then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this table called common from this common table expression right let's keep only those rows where you know the difference between the call received and the next call is within the seven day period because that is what we are concerned about right so how can we do that so we can use the extract function to basically get the number of seconds in the difference of these two columns call received and next call right so what we can do is only keep those rows where extract and how can we you know get the uh, number of seconds from a date you can use the epoch function so we write epoch from and from which what we need to do we need to calculate the difference from the call received and the next call right so that is going to give you you know okay these many days these many number of hours these many number of seconds and then when you do epoch of that so it is going to basically convert the entire difference into seconds right so that is what we are doing so from next call right so next 
call minus call received right and that should be less than because the call should come within the seven day period right so it should be less than now how to get the number of seconds in seven days so how many hours in one day 24 right so 24 how every hour has 60 minutes every minute has 60 seconds and we are you know concerned about seven days so these many number of seconds so only keep these rows for the time being you know once you have these rows let's keep all the columns obviously this is not what we want in the output but let me you know just see like let's see uh, what we are having right okay let me run this okay so if you look at it right so for this policy holder id we saw that there was only one of these uh, calls that were within the seven day period right so you have only that row and then for other another ones right you have uh, all these right for example for this uh, particular policy holder so this policy holder actually has two calls within the seven day period but the question says even if it is more than one uh, you know uh, calling more than uh, twice the, we need to count them as one so basically just by looking at it you can you know guess like what we need to change in this particular thing we just need to write return the count of distinct policy holder id because that is going to be the number of distinct patients right so even if they are calling more than twice so we can just simply remove this and write count of distinct policy holder id and let's alias this as whatever is required in the output so it is patient count so we write patient count right and i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so okay there are total 40 different patients who have called within the seven day period from their first call so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question if you know about window functions all we did was you know for each of the call we tried to find out you know what is the next call time and then try to make sure that we are only you know dealing with those rows where the difference between the next call and the call received is less than the number of seconds in seven days and then once we had those rows we just you know counted the number of distinct policy holder id because we only need to get the total number of distinct patients who called within the seven day period so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video